I'll be showing how to farm quickly and effectively in Roblox Skyblock. So right now I have 2 million coins. You can get as much as I have or even more easily. And this is the most efficient way that you can possibly farm in Roblox Skyblock. So make sure to subscribe with notifications on for a lot of Skyblock videos and helpful videos. And if you have Discord, join the Discord server linked in the description because there's a Roblox Skyblock channel. Like the video. And I just made a Skyblock Roblox group for Roblox Skyblock players. So that's going to be linked in the description also. So make sure to check that out. Hopefully this video helps you. And before I start the video, I just want to say I'm in a VIP server right now because I can't even play in public servers. Like, I have the power to shut down servers. My island is so big that whenever I try to join a public server, it won't even load my island and it will just shut down the entire server. So hopefully they fix that. But yeah, I'm not even able to play on public servers anymore because I need a whole server just to be able to have my base. Okay, so first of all, whenever you're farming, the best way to farm, you want to have a plot that's way bigger than all of the seeds you have. So for example, if you have like 100 seeds, you want something way bigger than that. So maybe something that could hold 500 seeds. But you keep getting more seeds, so you just want a very big area. The max, I'd say, is probably about... Well, this is able to hold 5,000. So I'd say the most that you'd want to do is 1,000, because once you're finished planting all of them, the first ones are already going to be fully grown. But I'll be showing this with grapes and onions, because, well, grapes are the newest crop, and they're different because they have to grow on these. So I suggest for grapes, unless if you can make a lot of these, well I'm just gonna call them grape chairs, cause why not? So unless if you can get a whole bunch of grape chairs, then you want to do onions or another thing. But I'll just show you my farm. So if you're new, then you should only try to do one of these. But if you're good at the game already, or decent at the game, you want to probably try to do a setup like I have. The grapes are optional though. So what you want to do whenever you're collecting grapes, zoom in all the way, position your camera at the front a little bit, and then just spam F so that, well, this is the fastest and most effective way to collect grapes, and if you miss one, then you can just go back to it after you collect all of them, and then you can just walk backwards and keep spamming F, and then you'll collect all of them. Since it's kind of laggy because my base is big, it doesn't instantly collect to them, so... It, even though I'm spamming F way faster than I'm moving to it, it doesn't collect it sometimes. But luckily you can hold click to plant seeds. So then you just zoom in again and do exactly what I'm doing right now. And this is for grapes. And after this I'll show you guys for onions and all other crops. So if you're farming a crop that's not grapes or berries, then you want to position your camera, or actually you want to stand right in front of it, position your camera down, and then walk forward and spam F, so you can see how fast I'm getting these onions. Like, this is way more effective than just standing regularly and walking by and pressing F, and then stand to the side of it a little bit and try to make it straight again, and then this is the fastest way to plan, or well, the most effective. So yeah, you can just do that, and then now for berries okay so if you have under 25 berry bushes just put it by your regular farm like over there when i didn't have many i'd keep them over there or actually you can keep them anywhere but if you want to have well if you do have a lot then you want to have a big area like this and the best way to collect berries same as grapes you just zoom in this time you want to look straight down though Press W while going forward, or, well, go forward while spamming F so that you can collect them quickly. And berries are very good because you don't have to replant them, so they're very effective to collect. Again, since my base is a little big, and, well, also I have a kind of high ping, it doesn't collect them some of the time, so I have to go back. But if you have decent internet and uh, your base isn't, like, over 50,000 blocks, then you can collect everything and you won't have to revisit it to collect the rest. But 
yeah, that's how you uh, farm berries and everything. And now for totems, which is very good if you know what you're doing. So first of all, you want to have at least four totems if you're going to farm and at least 20 seeds for whatever you're farming. If you have less than that, just farm it normally. Totems go a little bit slower, but if you have a lot, then you can farm it kind of faster. And yeah, so I'm just going to get four totems to show you. I'm going to keep the rest in the chest. But there, I got my four totems. Now I'm going to get the onions and just show you guys my example. So you want to do this in an area that you have a lot of dirt, so I'll just be showing this in my farm area over here with the onions and the onion totems. This works for all totems. There aren't any grape totems though, but that would kind of be overpowered. And you also really do need conveyors for this or else it's not going to be that good. So I don't have any extra conveyors right now, but I guess I could craft some. So let me just craft that real quick. Okay, there I got everything that I need for this. So what you want to do first off, you want to have at least a 7x7 seven seven grid for each totem. So like, well, it can go three this way. I'll just mark around where it should stop for totems so that it's easier. But yeah, this area that I'm leaving dirt, that's where you want to have your totem. Now, if you have multiple, then it's easier, well, I mean harder because you have to actually, like, keep doing this and you have to have a certain area for them, that's good. But it can go three out on each side and then you can finish the square and it will cover that entire area. So if you have a 7x7 seven seven grid and place it in the middle, then that will be perfect. So just like that. And then what you want to do now, I have 50 onion seeds, which is kind of a lot, but yeah, I'm just going to use them all for this. So I was just building that thing around just to show you guys how big it is that you can have around there. And if you want to measure with blocks, you can just take out one of the mining tools or the plow and then it will highlight each block and you can count them. But yeah, you want to have them at probably like three apart if you want to have an effective farm, or actually you can have them six apart, but you'd need more conveyors. So if you only have one conveyor, this is the easiest way. So, well, if you, you definitely need more than one conveyor, because if you have one conveyor, you can only put three, and you'd have to have it like that. If you have more than one conveyor, you can put it on the side in the end also. But you can't put it on the side of the industrial chest because that won't work. But you just have them like that. And then within the 7x7 seven seven radius for all of them, or well, 3 away from all of them, just plant all of the seeds that you have. And then they will automatically farm them. But they're kind of glitchy right now, so sometimes they do delete your onion seeds. So uh, be cautious with this. Hopefully they fix the glitches soon because there are a lot more, but there, I just planted all of them, so once all of the onion seeds are fully grown, the onion totem will harvest it, put it in the chest, and then replant the seed, and then, yeah, that's how you do totems, you can make it multiple levels, you can take out some stone and make it so that it drops from higher up onto here, you can do a lot of things. But yeah, that's how you do a basic onion totem farm. So if you want to do that, then that's good. But I myself don't use any totems for food because it's way faster to just farm it yourself. Totems are mainly for like if you just want to have an auto farm, which can be easier. But it is way more effective to just farm it yourself and uh, you won't have a chance of getting your seeds deleted or anything. But they do need to fix grape seeds sometimes it just randomly kicks me from the game and then I don't have any of the grape seeds that I planted so I have to buy more and the game's deleted about 500,000 coins worth of grape seeds for me which is a lot. One more thing that I want to show in this video is my factory so this isn't really farming well I guess it's farming but not food items so just look at how big my factory is I have so many iron things and then I have a lot of stone, a little bit of coal, and then one clay thing at the end. 
So now I'm gonna add one more to my farm because I'm not gonna use this for food. And then, uh, yeah, my farm is just very overpowered. Anyways, I hope you all like this video. Make sure to subscribe with the notifications on. Join the Discord server linked in the description if you have Discord. Check out that Roblox group linked in the description also. And I'm going to have a new Skyblock video coming later today whenever I have a good idea of a Skyblock video to make. But if you do all the stuff I mentioned in this video, you can get very pro quickly. And luckily this game isn't really pay to win, so I've never even spent any Robux on this game besides VIP just so my name stands out in the chat. But yeah, that's everything I wanted to show in this video. Last thing, a shout out to all my channel members, if you want to see your name on this board, all you have to do is press the join button to the left of the subscribe button and then join the channel, and your name will be on this list next video, along with special stuff in live streams and video premieres like a chat tag, chat color, symbol by your name, and a whole bunch of other stuff in live streams and video premieres. So if you want to and you do, then thanks, but... Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, YouTube!